creating or compiling a program. Right? So this is what happens. Can't go beyond that. Guys, is this fine? Now here's, here's one way of asking ourselves, right? If we wish to, not the printing integers, but if we wanted to write this, this thing here, <clears throat> what series of steps would we have to go through? Write an assembly language program that prompts a user to enter their date of birth, 2003, and then prompt the current year, 2009. The program should calculate the age of the user, and uh, so you prompt the user, and then you tell your year is, I mean your age is blah, blah, blah. How would we do this? It's a simple thing here, right? You must identify, you must be able to realize or recognize the fact that you need to prompt the user for two things, date of birth and the current year, right? <clears throat> what that means is that <clears throat> because you're prompting for two things, you must identify what sort of data type you're prompting the user. 2003, 2019, 2020, integer values. If you're working with integer values, you know that you're going to be working with system core, code, fa, five, right, five. <clears throat> and then the other thing you do is, you're <clears throat> when you're prompting, you're writing this text, enter your date of birth so that you, you provide some descriptive information to the user, meaning that you have to use system core code four, right? <clears throat> Don't have to memorize it, but system core code four. Because you're going to write your age, you are eight years, years old. You know that? System call code? Five. But because you're going to print the age, you're printing an integer. System call code? One. one. So you're, you're actually making use of system call code one, five, and four here. And you just stitch up your program. In between though, there's the logic part, right? When you get the value, to, when you uh, the user enters 20, 20, uh, 2003 uh, and, and, and 2019, you must perform some basic arithmetic operation. How do you compute the age? You look at the current year, you subtract the date of birth, the year, 2019 minus 20, uh, 2003. So you must use the operation sub to subtract the two values. Is, is this fine? Now, yes. In the case where you're trying to subtract, do you use any of the temporary sets? Yes. And after you're done, what do you put the value? You, you put the value depending on which, which system call you are using. So if you're printing an integer, the value that you print must be placed in a zero. <coughs> When you're printing an integer, the value must be in A0. <clears throat> do you want us to do that? Yes. Yay. Now, the, what was I, I was about to say something. If you notice, the reason why I'm explaining to you, the, I'm walking you through what you would do is no one would help you. If a question was to come, right? A question is not going to come, add five plus five. I mean, if a question like this comes, you have to think about the logic, right? or if you're practicing in, in, in the labs with non uh, soon, you have to think about the logic, which is why I was helping you with the logic. Say, if you're asked like this, you have to think, how do I calculate the age? What sort of steps do I have to follow? And it's usually advisable, I highly encourage you to do this, to write pseudo code, right? Line by line to actually kind of help you, gu guide yourself, um, running out of example examples here, but I will, I mean, file names, I'll just say, yes. Right, so program, program to compute date of birth, right? So we write the usual, we start with the, um, the usual stuff that our program is supposed to have. Um, Uh, and I will say prompt, as a first step, prompt user for date of birth. Prompt user for current year. Compute age. Print age. And you're done, I mean, I guess like exit or something. Where is he going? Exit. <clears throat> And then, uh, once you write these things, these are going to guide you what, uh, with what you need to go through, right? You know that uh, with this, all you have to do is start slotting things in here, right? 
I'll start with the easiest, which is how do I exit our load uh, system core code number 10 here, and then just issue this call, good measure. Prompt user for date of birth, right? So how do I prompt a user for date of birth? I will load in V0. Right? But we also said our prompt should be in such a way that enter current year, enter date of birth, right? So I'll create input one, or I'll say input uh, birth, birth or something. <clears throat> and I'll say enter. Yeah. And then I'll have another input where I'll say current. And then I'll say enter current year, right? And again, as, 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 like as you're, if you're writing something that involves a lot of instructions, I highly encourage you guys to, oh, they're here. I highly encourage you, it's fine, just a little more, while longer. I highly encourage you guys to, to, to try out this these programs, right? Uh, so load v0, let's quickly do this. Cisco, the load address uh, in a0, this is a var input birth or something. <clears throat> right? Uh, you want to try these things out, right? As you are writing the code, write a small chunk of it, run it and see if it works, enter year, is it 2013 or something, it works. And then go to the next stage where you say, you're gonna do the same thing, prompt the year. How do you do this? Load in V0, uh, four, and then load address a zero, var input current year, and then I'll issue this call. Um, I know this is gonna work, uh, but also I, I, I prompt, uh, uh, I mean, I, I, I prompt the user to enter the value that I'm interested in, which is five, Cisco. Uh, but you notice that as I'm entering fives in Cisco, I need to move these values into appropriate registers because they're going to be overwritten otherwise. So I'll put in T0, I'll put what's in V0, move that here, and then um, in here, I will move the value. I will move the value in T1 from, why are you only V0, right? <laughs> Right? Uh, if you want, you can, again, just to make sure that uh, the program at least is, is fine. Already there's a problem there, right? The Cisco has an issue. And it tells you the line number, so I know it's here. I'll run it again. I know once I enter 2013, current year is 2019. Okay, uh, I'm getting these values, they are fine. And when I get these values, you notice that they're being put into registers I wish them to be put in, right? T0 and T1. Uh, if I go back here, I will say now compute the age. Age is easy. Subtract, I'll put the value in T2, right? What am I subtracting? I'm subtracting what's in T1, yeah? From what is in T, T0, right? And then I'll print the age. How do I print the age? I will, I will say uh, system core code V0, one, right? Cisco, but I will need to move what is in, uh, in T2 to A0, right? Hmm? Yes. Yeah, uh, so if I, if I load this, you notice that yes, it's gonna run, date of birth, 2003, 2019, and then it prints 16 years old. I, well, 16, I don't know if this is correct, but you could prove that. But here's the thing, we said it should be that your age is, right? You notice that what you have to do is again, define some string up here, to say, the, uh, uh, string one, and then I'll just say uh, your age, you are, you are, right? Because we're supposed to print, it's a thing, right? We're supposed to print you are age years old. So what, that, what this means is you're supposed to define two strings here. After the age, you have the, the stuff that just says, uh,
Yeah? So I'll go back here uh, and process strings one and two. Before I print, I print the string here, the edge, I will say load immediate, in, uh, uh, I want to print that string one, I'll say load address into A0, I'll say var string one. You understand this? So that, and then I'll have to print the other string. Observe what happens here. What I wish to print is, uh, uh, garbage. Uh, we did something wrong here. We're supposed to have prompted uh, for input before we did. We did something wrong. What did we do wrong? We printed the string before. We printed the. Or we can put it there, actually. Backslash n just goes to the new line. It works just fine. There's something we've not done right here. I will, uh, what, what have we not done right? The movement of the registers, maybe. There's something we're not doing right here. What is it? You, see, you understand what I mean? If I load this program, yes, enter. It's not supposed to print you are years old. There's something we've done wrong. We probably not issued the proper system call somewhere. Sorry, subtract. Why? <laughs> no, no, no. There's there's something we're not, we're not doing right here. The strings. They are oh, the current year. It says add current year. Guys. He's saying he should fail or something. Uh, Cisco. The, the, the problem is we, the problem started when we, we, we decided to write these years or something. For, okay, we prompt the user, we enter the value and move it to T naught. Um, we prompt the user for four and then move it to two, T naught. There's something we're not doing right here. And I'm wondering what it is. Sir, yes? What, what if we just add the, the value there after you are on top of it? The value after you are? Yes, after you are, the one in the system. How, how are you going to add it there? No, 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 no. It doesn't. How? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't work like that. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what we've done. We've done something iffy here, and I don't, I don't know what it is. I think it's a string input somewhere. No, it's, it's not the password. What password are you talking about? Don't go anywhere. This has to be done here. So, no, that's not true. There is a, they can come in. There's a... Let's, this, this must be done here. Let's just try this. Debugging is always a problem. Your year of birth, your current year. Debugging is always a problem. Yes, sir. Backslash N is there to, uh, to tell this thing to, actually, the reason why this might be happening is because these are not now terminated. Doesn't know where this thing stops. There's a class. Yeah, we are almost done. Okay, we are almost done. Just we just want to finish it. So the reason is uh, this is now terminated. I don't know if you've noticed this. Right. So because it's now terminated, uh, because it's now terminated. Now I'll go back to what we had before. The code was just fine. Here, string one. I'll now, now terminate it so that it knows where the string ends, right? Observe. Now that when we run this date of birth, 2003, 2019, you are 16. Now, <clears throat> because, because we need to add the other part, which is years old, we must print the string again, this years old string. So we'll go towards the end after printing the integer, we'll say v0, uh, v0, uh, v0, and then uh, for syscall, but in this case, we need to load the register into a0, 
which register the string, the second string. And then boom, so this, this thing now will work because um, we've done the right thing. It's called yes.asm. So date of birth, 2000. Current year, when, when are you going to graduate? 2022. You will be 22 years old if you are born in 2000. You understand what I mean? Simple thing, but the takeaway point here is that um, you want to understand exactly how to go about using the different system calls. This is what we're trying to, to showcase here, right? If you wish to access this program, I shall save this on the, uh, on the edit pad, the collaborative editor, so you can access it at your own time. Guys, I shall see you when you see me, which is uh, Monday promptly. We are meeting in Uzasek 2.